Hey guys, Shalom. Uh, Chaim Mailspin here, Sergeant Major of the Combat Engineer Corps Elite Unit for Special Missions. Um, I'm here by the tank. I want to talk to you about something very interesting. You've probably heard of the progress happening for uh, the release, uh, these talks in different countries. There was a meeting in France with all kinds of people from Qatar and from uh, United States, Israel, um, from the army, all talking about releasing the hostages and we're praying for that, we're believing for that. And there's a deal that, there's some deals that are being discussed and progress is being made, but it's interesting to see that on our side, we're looking to see these innocent women, children who've wronged no one, elderly, these, these, these men, women, and children who've done nothing to anyone on God's green earth, innocent. We wanna see them released, but what does the enemy want? Hamas wants the most dangerous criminals, terrorists, who've done the most atrocious acts, you know, for them to just be released scot-free. In fact, even the current leader in, in, of Hamas in Gaza on the ground, Yahya Sinwar, he's the one who's behind the October 7th attacks, the massacre um, of innocents. And he himself was released uh, among, uh, in a deal back in the day. And then he decides to use his freedom to commit more atrocities. So what pattern are we setting up here? And guess what Sinwar, Yahya Sinwar was in prison for? Because he brutally killed Palestinians, his own people, who were suspected of cooperating with Israel. This is the guy, this is the hero of the Palestinians. This is the one everyone wants to elevate. All the Palestinians wanna make their leader a murderer of their own people. And think about it wherever you are in the world, if your government would prioritize the release of the most dangerous murderers, like the Palestinians are doing, what does it say about your country, about the way your country's running? It's hard to live in this problematic neighborhood, but I'm happy to see that this small country, this, this tiny country, Israel, you know, we prioritize protecting the weak citizens, releasing little Kfir from captivity. You see that little baby, the little redhead baby, you know? And now I want you to share this video with someone who is on the tipping side of what is right and wrong. Some of these people who have, who've losing their morals, share this video with them and say, let's stand up for what's right together.